Web applications store their data in a database on the server. To get this data, the user typically fills in a form in a web browser and submits it to a script on the server, which then saves the data in the database. At some point, we need to validate this data to make sure the data in our database is clean and correct. For example, a valid email address, the correct phone number format, and so on. So where's the best place to validate this data? In the browser or client, or on the web server. Let's look at an example. Here we have some HTML with a form for submitting an email address. When the form is submitted, it will send its data to the processform.php script specified here in the form's action attribute. In that PHP script, we're going to save that email address to the database. We'll get the value from the submitted form, then using PDO, we'll connect to the database and use a prepared statement to insert the data. Finally, we'll just print out a message. Note that you'd normally check for errors when connecting to the database and executing the statement and so on, but we'll leave these out just to keep it simple. And here is the database with the subscriber table, which is currently empty. Let's give it a try. If I enter an email address and submit the form, we see the message. And in the database, there's the new record with the value from the form. However, in the form, we're not doing any validation. So I can enter any value at all in here, for example this, which clearly isn't a valid email address, and this value is saved in the database, just like the previous one. What we want in our database is a list of valid email addresses, so we need to validate this data before it gets here. Let's start by doing this in the browser, by adding some JavaScript to the HTML. What we're doing here is checking for the form being submitted, and when it is, we're validating the value of the text input by checking to see if it contains an at sign. Obviously, you'd want better validation than this, we're just keeping it simple for this example. If it doesn't contain an at sign, we show an alert and call prevent default, which stops the form from being submitted. Let's give that a try. Now if I try and submit the form with an invalid email address, we get the message and the form isn't submitted. So we've successfully stopped invalid data from getting to the database. However, JavaScript can be turned off. Let's do that and try that again. Now, if I enter an invalid email address, I can submit the form, and this invalid value has been saved in the database. So as you can see, JavaScript validation can easily be bypassed. In addition to JavaScript though, we can also do limited validation in the browser using HTML5. For example, if we change the type of this input to type email, and also make it required. Then, when we try and submit an invalid value, we're prevented from doing so. Remember, we've still got JavaScript switched off. Only when we enter a valid email address can we submit the form. So is this the solution? HTML5 validation can't be disabled as easily as JavaScript. However, this can also be easily bypassed too. Curl is a command line tool that we can use to request or send data to a URL. For example, here on the command line, we call the curl command, pass in the data that we want to send like this, 
which is the equivalent of a field called email with the value hello in it, followed by the URL. This will post this data to this script just as though it had been submitted via a form in a browser. When we run this, we get the response message back from the server, and in the database, we can see the value has been inserted. So by using curl, we can completely bypass the form and its validation in JavaScript or in HTML5. The solution to this is to always validate on the server. Let's add some server-side validation in PHP using the filter var function. If the email is invalid, this function will return false, and we can exit the script and display a message. You'd probably want to redisplay the form with the errors shown in line, along with the previously entered data, but again, we'll keep it simple just for the purposes of this demo. Before we try this, let's just remove the HTML5 validation, just so that we can see the server-side validation working in the demo. With JavaScript still switched off, if we submit the form with an invalid email, now we get an error message from the server, and the value we submitted hasn't been inserted into the database. Let's try the same thing with curl, and again we get the error message. And the value hasn't reached the database. So we always need to validate on the server, as client-side validation can be easily bypassed. However, that's not to say you shouldn't validate in the client. Let's switch JavaScript back on first. Client-side validation is good for giving instant feedback to the user. It's faster than redisplaying the form from the server and allows the user to fill in the form correctly before it's submitted. Server-side validation is there to protect you against malicious users who could be manipulating the browser to bypass the validation or even not using your form at all and using something like curl as we just saw. So when validating, server-side is essential and client-side is recommended as an additional layer of validation.